In this video, you would learn three other great tools to proceed when dealing with objections. When you know what to say and to react to the customer's concerns, you can close up to 50% more deals than before. At the end of this video, you will know how to use the proportion tool, the crowded effect, and the guided imagery to overcome the customer's fears. My name is Ori. To know more about me, you can always visit sellchowforbusiness.com slash about or just click on about on the menu above. There you can watch a video on me. Before we start, watch two other great videos I made before. The first is on the sales concept. It would help you understand what are objections and how to treat them correctly to solve them. Second, watch my last video on three ways to start when handling objections in sales. Like mathematics, you must know those tools that you could progress to this video. It is that important. So if you haven't watched them yet, please do so. In the video before, Jane enjoyed her last day of vacation in shopping. She calls her husband after a few days they haven't spoken. Raymond, her husband, tells her about what had happened when she wasn't at home. During the conversation, Jane asks if their two children have argued as they used to. Ramon says, of course, Natalie took Larry's game without asking him, and of course, there was a nice scene. I just needed to make them get back to proportion. Natalie just needed to ask permission or write down to Larry if he's not there, that she took his game. Afterwards, she needs to return it to him. It was solved quickly. In the last scene, we spoke about proportion. It means when the customer raises a concern, you tell him in other words that it is irrelevant to the product or it is a small issue that is easy to solve. One of the things you can say when the customer wants to consult is the people you want to consult with dealing with the same problem as you, most of the time they don't, so they can give good advice, meaning it is irrelevant to consult with them. Jane finished the conversation with Raymond, her husband, and decided to find a nice good restaurant near the hotel. She sees two blocks from her a restaurant that people are standing outside waiting and on the other side of the road an empty restaurant. She decides to stand in line even though she is really hungry. Something is telling her that it is worth waiting. In the last scene, I gave a popular case of the crowded effect, meaning if a lot of customers say or use a product, it is probably because it is correct or good. The wisdom of the crowd. A lot of people stand in line to restaurant because it is a good place to eat. Let's go back to the consult concern and use the crowded effect. Let's say that the customer wants to consult with his partner so they have the same problem. The solution I offer with the proportion tool is irrelevant in this case. This time you can say I have a lot of customers who prefer that I would speak with their partners because their partners ask questions which they don't know how to answer. In your permission, could I speak with your partner? Pay attention that you don't tell the customer that he wouldn't know how to explain about the product. He might be offended. You use a lot of customers that he won't feel you pointed the answer to him. Let's go back to Raymond. Natalie and Larry, his children, are asleep. Now Raymond wants to relax. He has guided imagery, audio, which he likes to use to do meditation and keep a balanced and optimistic mind. He just needs to meditate and he is in other places, sometimes on the beach, in a show and so on. It helps him get through to the next day with a new loader energy. In the last scene, we spoke about what is guided imagery. In sales, it means that you paint the customer how his problem would be solved if he has used your product. In other direction, you also use that tool to describe the problem the customer has and what is the pain he feels. Now let's return to the consult objection and use the guided imagery tool. You can say to your customers, think that you use the product in, and then describe in two free sentences, how does it help them? Empathize the benefits, then ask them, can you see how it helps you and your partner, right? 
In our six scenes before, we have learned what is proportion, crowded effect, and guided imagery. I also demonstrated how to use those three tools correctly. When you sell in your business, try those tools. Each time, try another tool and see the reaction of your customers. You would see that some of them would work better for you. It depends on how you use them, the type of customers you have, and the branch you work in. Give me feedback on how was this video, how did it help you and what do you think was missing. Help me to improve to help you receive better and valuable information. Just click on the button give feedback or on the link below. Next time watch on three other great tools that would give you all the necessary armor to deal with objections. You would learn on analog cover story and the return of need tool. When you know how to deal with objections, you close more deals as a fact. Also scroll down to watch other great videos such as sales concepts to understand what objections better and my last video on how to start when dealing with objections. Don't forget to like my video and of course subscribe to my channel. You would receive all the tools you need to understand the sales process better.